Hello everyone. I am Pritam from Uppsala University, Sweden. I am a PhD student in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Currently, I am doing <clears throat> all my DFT calculations using Siesta. And those who are Siesta users, I can uh, show you how to make an input file by using automated software. Because uh, people usually, those who are Siesta users, they uh, create their input file manually. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to create uh, Siesta input file by using an automated software, which I'm going to show you. This is my first tutorial video on how to make an input file using Siesta. So let's get started and I hope you like it. Thanks. First, uh, what you have to do is you have to go to this materials project site and uh, download choice of your material. Uh, for me, I'm inputting this uh, zinc oxide as I'm working on it. And I select this one, uh, crystal structure. And uh, you have to download in Posca or maybe using the VASP format, which I've downloaded already, as you can see here, this one. So if you open it, so this is my crystal structure and uh, I am using this crystal maker software which is really good to produce uh, publication quality figures and uh, although it is a commercial software you don't uh, have many options uh, for the Siesta users as you don't have any export features for the Siesta software. So you have for the VASP software, you have as a PDB molecule, PDB crystal, CASP, CASP, uh, CAN 3D Cartesian, DL Poly, etc., etc. But you don't have in any of the software. Although you, if you if you open in Vesta, also you don't have any option for the Siesta users. So uh, for that, uh, uh, we need to download one the software called WX Dragon which has many more features, which is uh, uh, ex an uh, executable file, uh, which I've downloaded already. And uh, I can show you how to input the structure. So this is the interface for the WX Dragon. Okay, to open the structure. And you have the visible window. And uh, here there is an export button in which you have so many features so many <clears throat> export features for different types of softwares in which CSA is one of the format so you have VAS, you have uh, XYZ, uh, FPLO, DL Poly, everything whatever you need you have quantum expresso, PDP format etc but uh, but this tutorial we are going to uh, deal with the Siesta input file so if you click it and you apply it and you have the input format. So this is the basic input format of uh, Siesta in which you can save to a file. And the Siesta accepts the input file in .ftf format. And you can input the file for Siesta and do your DFT calculations. So this is the basic format for the Siesta in which you have system name, system level, number of atoms, number of species, and this is the block of chemical species level, lattice constant, lattice vectors, and atomic coordinates with species numbers. So this is one of the hectic, this is uh, one of the format, uh, one of the, um, Siesta format in which you have to input all the atomic coordinates as well as the species uh, numbers. Uh, for thousands of atoms, it is really very difficult uh, to input it manually. So for that, this software might be useful, and is uh, and you go yeah, and you are ready for your DFT calculations. So that's it. And uh, in the next video, I can show you. Uh, after a successful DFT calculations, uh, how to plot a band structure and DOS plot by using GNU plot.